<laughs> all right good morning guys i like ran my fingers through my hair and i ended up with like hair around my fingers <clears throat> whatever i just washed it um i am at a doctor's appointment um they're not open yet so Ooh, a little white bug crawling on me golly we'll do bugs um so anyway i am i need to update my diet stuff for this week so my weigh in was a little higher um because as i said in my previous video last week i didn't realize till like the end of the week that my vitamins um i i do gummy vitamins because i can't swallow those like capsule things i don't know why i can't swallow i just can't um i'm one of those people i guess uh so i found like these little pills but i haven't found a daily pill that's not like a capsule so if anybody has any suggestions, I'm all for it because I do not need eight grams of eight net car carbs added per day um, when I'm trying to do not only a detox diet, but I'm setting myself up for the August challenge um, to work on intermittent fasting, the fasting challenge. Um, and I am doing the fasting challenge with uh, Life Adventures in Keto so far. And if anybody else is interested, let me know. It is an alternating schedule where Monday, Wednesday, Friday is two meals a day. Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday is OMAD. And then Sunday is like a free day if you have, I don't know. I, I personally, I go to church. So in the mornings, I'm really struggling to find something um, to have before church. And all I've got really is my Quest bars or like the 100 calorie pack of mixed nuts which is like walnuts and almonds and that doesn't fill me up at all um i've got my my protein or my collagen coffee but that doesn't do anything for me either um i really like i got the um what is it organic or organ organ um keto it's the black container with the lime green cover uh and it's vanilla flavored i really like that one better than the cacao thing that I got from Better Keto. So I like that. I was watching, uh, who was it? Oh yeah, I was watching Dino make his morning protein shake or something. I needed like a shake mixer, one of those mixology things. I, that's the next thing on my want list uh, because I really want to try that thing that he made. What was it yesterday or something like that? He said it was like fruity pebbles, like liquid fruity pebbles, like cereal in a cup or something like that. I was like, that sounds awesome. I could go for some fruity pebbles. Like I haven't had cereal and I don't even know how long. I love fruity pebbles. So I'm doing the detox diet, struggling on that just a little bit, but it's also the end of the month, which I'm a female. Every female dieter understands this, that, that week before your body is retaining that water. Your body is bloating. Your body, the hormones are off. It's not burning fat at that moment. It's just like, it's not going to happen. Um, so I've kind of like stalled between um, 193.8 and 194.4, which is the, the last like three readings that I've gotten um, for the past three days. So... I'm going to say my way in is like a stall right now. I am, I have not lost, um, as far as last week because of the extra sugar issue, the mix up with the, there, the issue with the vitamins and, um, it being, the, there's another ambulance. What is going on? Um, it being the end of the month kind of concept. So we're going to, I'm going to wait a week or so and, do another good way in and see if I'm still on track. I know I'm on track. I'm, I'm tracking all my food and everything. I'm eating like fish and veggies and, and everything like I'm supposed to. I'm not snacking. I'm doing really good. I think I really want to gear myself up for this intermittent fasting challenge because I really want to go all day on my OMAD days and not be like super hungry by 7 p.m. kind of thing. Um, so other than all of that, I have been taking pictures and showing my macros for my food during my diet uh, detox, which started on Saturday. Today is Tuesday, and I'm late uploading this video. It's going to be like in the middle of the day uploaded because I got stuff to do. I, I got my doctor's appointment this morning, and then I got to go all the way out. I got to get like rats for the snakes and 
put those in the freezer before it gets like a million degrees outside it'll probably be a million degrees by the time i get it I get out there um it's supposed to be like in the upper 90s this week the doctors their cars are parked behind like a gated barbed wire fence that's auto can it hold on I mean, does this seem a bit excessive to you <laughs> that the doctor's parking lot is gated with barbed wire and I think it's electric, electric fencing? I mean, we're out in the country. Ain't nobody going to vandalize some doctor's car. Do you see this? Do your doctor's offices have this? Anyway... Oh, man. Well, I should get to my appointment. It will probably be starting in, like, 20 minutes. Not even, but I like showing up early and seeing the way. I found some energy drink flavors we haven't seen in the stores over here. Um, and this store is like 30 minutes away. As usual, everything's like 30 minutes away. Um, but I had to go all the way out an hour away to pick up stuff for... I had to pick up rats for the snakes. And on my way there, I stopped at a um, kind of... I don't know, like a hand-me-down store. I don't know what it's called. Um, I don't know the name of the store specifically. But I was looking for a shirt, like summer shirts... Um, everything I'm wearing is either like really heavy or really baggy and I kind of wanted something that I wouldn't be like sweating in uh, unfortunately I think I only found one shirt but this is on my way back to the house um, I got some energy drinks we, I stopped at a store that we pass by every single time but we've never gone in it and it looks really interesting because it's got a tree in the middle of the entranceway so that's unique but anyway i got some carolina country snacks sweet mild barbecue and hot barbecue um sweet mild does not look mild but we'll see carolina country snacks are a hit or miss with me sometimes they have good seasoning other times they're just eh. um so my son's cousin did the scorpion challenge like I asked, um, we were seeing if he could handle it, and then I came across this at the convenience store, the country store today, Insanity Sauce, and I'm going to have to look it up to see what peppers are in it, but it just says Insane, um, hot peppers, hot pepper extracts, whatever, and this is like, it's brown. That reminds me of something that I've taste tested before, something like a dark brown hot pepper. So, we'll see if he can handle this, too. Maybe I can add it to the video um, that I'm still putting together. So I got three rock stars. This one doesn't have a flavor written on it. I'm going to have to look up the blue one. I don't know what that one is. Uh, I found tangerine mango guava strawberry. That's a mouthful. And watermelon kiwi. Now I'm going to set this aside for a second because it says watermelon on it. Um, We've, I think we've taste tested the lemon drop. I don't know about the lemon drop sweet tea, but I know we taste tested some of the sweet teas. Um, I'll go back on my video and, and see. Wild and Watermelon is new, and we cannot find it anywhere, so apparently this store has it. So I grabbed two, and I'm going to put a watermelon down here. And Power Punch and Purple Guava Pear. We don't really find those in the stores over here either, and we kind of like those. But as you see, I've got two watermelons here. Give me a second. All right, so we've got watermelon kiwi by Rockstar, wild and watermelon, wild and watermelon by Bang. Then we've got strawberry watermelon ice by C4, zero sugar. Rain Inferno watermelon warlord. And last but not least, monster zero sugar. Ultra Watermelon. Which do you think is going to taste the best? You know what? It's going to be a taste test. And I'm going to wait till my kids 
are back. I picked them up tomorrow and me and Gavin are going to sit down and figure out which watermelons we like the best and we're going to rank them. Top five. Well, only because we can't find any more rotten other watermelons, but there we go. The ultimate showdown. Summer watermelon showdown. All right, and the other haul is the little hand-me-down store that I went to on the thrift shop. Uh, I got these cute little penguins. Gavin collects penguins, so I got a penguin Care Bear kind of thing. He's a little dirty, but that's okay. And this unique little penguin with some sparkly Christmas stuff on them. This one's got beanies in the bottom. So I found this Stein. This was like $3. Um, and it's the Christmas edition. So I'm going to add that to my Stein collection. This is my first Christmas one. And then I found these cute little things. I'm not going to use them as actual salt and pepper shakers. Um, just novelty because they look like little steins or like little um, beer barrels. So I'm going to put those up there. I think they're absolutely cute. Or you know what? I'm going to put them with my Stein collection. This is a magnet. Take a number. Boom. Um, put that on the fridge. Got some geometry books for the boys for next year. And I got this for me. Five Practices of Fruitful Living by Robert Skinace. I'm going to assume. So I kind of flip through it a little bit. And it gets into a little bit of everything. So I'm going to try to try it out and read it out and see if it helps me any. And this is the shirt that I found. Um, it's a pretty long shirt, and it's a size large, but it says 10 to 12 large. So let me try it on real quick and see if it fits, because I know I fit a large, but sometimes larges are made smaller than you think. Now, um, it's form-fitting. It's tight. My chest is, like, in here. The bottom part fits me well. It, like, goes a little past my waist or my hips down here. So it covers my booty. Um, it's just, I'm so top heavy. It's so hard to find anything that fits me. I'm a large, but like I said, a large could be like, I mean, I like it. It's just a little tight right now, but I'll fit into it. It's cute. Um, but anyway, I'm going to get going and figure out my lunch and I will catch you guys in another video at another time. Stay tuned to the watermelon showdown um taste test video and a lot more other videos in the future